We say shit, you too scared to say I'm a real bitch now, deal with it I'm a real bitch now, deal with it We say shit, you too scared to say I'm a real bitch now you're tuned into Raw Real Talk, where we keep it 100 with you at all times. And on this segment, we are talking about women getting fake ass body parts. I still don't understand the concept of wanting to have plastic ass and plastic titties. And then what's really getting me is how these women are walking around like this is their natural bodies. And then some of them is even proud that they laid on the table. And got plastic stuck in their ass and stuck in their titties. Ladies, why are we so unhappy with ourselves and what God gave us? If you was born with small titties, just accept it. If you was born with a flat ass, just accept it. Do some type of exercises to naturally enhance your ass. But for you to want someone to cut your ass open. And stick plastic in your booty. I'm really still trying to understand that concept. And what's really tripping me out is that you see a bitch one day. And she got size 8 titties. And you see her the next day and she got triple D's. I mean what is going on my people, my people. And the fact that my black ladies, my black women, my black babies. Are sticking shit in their ass knowing you was naturally born with curves natural curves and for you to look up one day and say i want a swollen ass i want some swollen titties i want some big ass lips you was already born with big lips you're black what's getting me is when i hear ladies say i want to get myself the gift i need to do something for me and then you say oh okay i'm gonna buy some plastic some silicone to stick in my booty and getting booty shots what the fuck is a booty shot the things that people come up with ladies you gotta understand these doctors don't give a fuck about your health they don't give a fuck if you flat line right on the table they don't give a fuck you can die on the table long as they get their money and for you to risk your health and your life it's crazy and you know it's crazy if you're gonna get yourself a gift don't get plastic in your booty Get yourself a gift and buy yourself a house. Even some jewelry. I even accept you buy some dick. You was born with ass. For free. And I saw some of these gruesome ass procedures. And they take sharp things and just poke it in you constantly. Poke it in your booty. And then when we get liposuction and shit. Do some sit ups bitch. Do some crunches. Cut back on the snacks. Cut back on the sugar. It's all kinds of things you can do. But when it's to a point where you're going to risk your health to say, this is going to make me feel better about myself, but I might die in six months. Come on now, ladies. Come on. And then when you're getting that silicone shit in your lips and shit, and you're getting that Botox to tighten your skin, making your ass look like a lion. Everybody look Asian and shit. You was born black. Now you look Asian. Look at all these celebrities. They're all coming up, popping up, looking like the same people. Because they all look Asian. It's funny and it's sad at the same time. It's like soon as you become a celebrity, you get fickle. You get crazy. You get zombie-like. And everybody start looking alike. Everybody got the same size titties. Now everybody in the game suddenly got up some big old titties. And they're all Asian. And the last time I checked, Asian women asses are flat and their titties are small. Before you go sticking shit in your ass and your titties and your lips and your face, really think about it before you do it. Start loving yourself, ladies. You're blowing up your titties. You're blowing up your ass. It's just all kinds of crazy shit, little silliness out there. So I had to get that off my mind because it was two things that I really wanted to talk about today. And one was racism, which is a very important subject. And the other one was plastic. And I was weighing out plastic racism so i went with the plastic because i know racism is an ongoing conversation but this shit is really getting on my nerves like waka flocka's baby mama getting breast implants baby embrace your small titties but now she got plastic in her titties because she want to give herself a little gift i want to give myself a gift do something for me let me put some plastic in my ass and my titties. I mean, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. 
But I went with the plastics to the racism. Speaking of racism and just, just some food for thought preparing for the next video. Don't y'all realize that white people just get away with any old thing. They just do any old thing and just get away with it. They can say any old thing. They can kill any old body. And they just get away with it. But anyway, ladies, love yourself. Love yourself. And I know that men in the industry and in society can make you feel pressured to do some shit. To do some things to your body. So you can be accepted. But with acceptance... There comes responsibility. It's to a point where bitches can't feed their kids. Bitches got to do porn. Mimi. Love and hip hop. Mimi. To pay your bills and take care of your kids. Then you sit up there and go buy some titties. You really got to think about that. What is your reality? That you telling me you can afford your bills but you can buy some silicone titties. Then the bitches that can afford to pay for ass and shit and rebuild their bodies. Is that the best you can do with your money? Is that the best you can come up with? Are you so bored that you said, oh, I'm so bored. I, I need to go buy some titties. It's to the point where we was focused on shoes, ladies. Handbags, accessories, scarves, hats. But it's to a point where we're not happy. And we're adding shit to the list. Our list of things to do. Now our bucket list is filled with plastic. Now we want to buy ass. I just want to have ladies understand. Because on my last video, I went in on the ladies. I call them stupid bitches. Because of this whole Jeremy Meeks thing. And the reason why I'm mixing this is because it's about low self-esteem. Women buy plastic. Put shit in their lips inflate their ass deflate their stomach and risk their lives because of low self-esteem and it's just like these ladies saying a criminal can fuck them it's because they got low self-esteem and that's why all of my videos interrelate and it's just literally crazy it's mind-blowing and it's not to a point where i'm asking you why because i'm really trying to figure out why it's rhetorical and you need to ask yourself why so with that being said my solution is the money that you're willing to spend to buy you a better body. Why don't you take that money and go to a class for self-esteem? Go to some kind of social group to help you rebuild yourself. Buy self-help books to rebuild yourself. Pray to God first and foremost to rebuild yourself. Doctors, they don't give a fuck about you. They don't care. Like I said, they don't care if you flatline on the table. Why are they pumping up your flat ass and sucking out that fat? They don't give a fuck. They just want their money. They don't care about your health. So like I said, all of these things are interrelated. They are interrelated. Lady, love yourself. Spend your money on something better, something more positive, something more productive. And another thing, ladies, I want to point out. When you're looking at these celebrities on TV and you say, I want a body like Nicki Minaj, you got to understand that these bitches are fake. When you hear these media sites saying that this bitch got the baddest body in the game, these bitches' bodies are fake. They got fake asses, fake titties. All these bitches are fake. Liposuction and shit and cracking their ribs to get six packs and shit. It's very few people are going in the gym, literally getting their bodies to look a certain way and getting their ass pumped up to look a certain way. So stop saying you want to look like these celebrities because these celebrities are fake as fuck. Fake as hell. Plastic booties. 